All right, so we've added 4 to both sides. Now we have 224 is equal to 7n. The last thing that we need to do, of course, is divide both sides by 7. When we divide both sides by 7, we have n is equal to 32. So, of course, what this means is that we have 32 terms, and that 32nd term is 220. All right. So now, let's write the, uh, the second example. It says, write the first eight terms of an arithmetic sequence given the following information. It says the seventh term is negative 0.5, and it tells you the common difference is negative 1.5. And so this one, I'm going to take kind of a, a non-algebraic way of going about it, and we're going to almost write ourselves a picture, if you will. So let's do this. Let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 terms, this one being T8. So we have T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, and T7. Those just representing the term numbers. What do we know about this? The only thing we really know is that this term, the eighth term, maybe I'll do it in a different color. Uh, let's do green. We know that the seventh term is negative 0.5. Now we know the common difference is negative 1.5. So of course when it's negative, folks, what that means is that you're going to be subtracting an amount. So as it goes in the positive direction, I know the eighth term, I'm going to be subtracting 1.5. So that means that this would go down 1.5 more, so this would be at negative 2. Well, if it's going downward that way, it must be going upward in the other way. So if I add 1.5 to negative 0.5, I get 1. Add 1.5 to 2.5, 4, 5.5, 7, and 8.5. So just that easy to do an example like that. It says write the first eight terms of the sequence. We've done that. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so this is our last example. Um, since I began a couple little tips and went a little bit slower, uh, this lesson's turned out to be a little bit longer than some of them are going to be. I'm going to try to keep them down to one part, but usually they'll be somewhere, I'm thinking, in between the 15 to 20 minute mark. Okay, last example. This one's uh, one of the more difficult ones that you'll come across in this section. All right, so let's take a look at this. Two terms of an arithmetic sequence are the t sub 4, or the fourth term is negative 4, t7 equals 23, or the seventh term is 23. So again, we could draw yourself a picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, so the fourth term, and 5, 6, 7, seventh term is 23. Uh, maybe I'll do that in a different color again. So I'll write the term numbers, term 1, term 2, term 3, Term 5, term 6, that's all we need. And so let's write down up top the information we know. We know the fourth term is negative 4. We know the seventh term is 23. And they want to know, of course, what this first term is up here. Well, what's the problem, of course? We don't know what the common difference is right now. Am I supposed to add, like, 4 to get to this next term? Probably not. It's going to have to be more than that. Do I add 8? Do I add 16? Do I add 10? What do I add in order to make that happen? Well. Let's take a look at how this little sequence has to work. If you look, if we're over here at negative 4, and in only a couple common differences we have to get to 23, we might be able to build ourselves a little bit of an equation. Let me show you what I mean. If we have negative 4, we need to add a common difference to get to the fifth term there. In order to get to this next term, we have to add another common difference. So we've added two common differences. And lastly, to get to this term, you have to add a third common difference. So from this information, what can I say? I can say that I know to get to t sub 7, or the seventh term, I have to take t4, the term I know, and add how many common differences? Three of them. Right. But we know what the seventh term is and the fourth term is. The seventh term is 23. Sub that in. We know the fourth term is negative 4. And of course, we're looking to figure out what these uh, three differences add up to. So, just basic algebra, I'll add 4 to both sides, it means we get 27 is equal to 3D, and lastly, D is equal to 9. So we know that the common difference is 9, and so we can check this out to make sure it works. Let's take a look. So let's plug these guys in here. If we add 9 to 4, we would get 5. Add 9 more, we would get 14. Add 9 more, we get 23. Still haven't answered the question, though. The question says, what is the first term, or t1? Well, this way I was adding 9, so this way I must have to subtract 9. So this one would be negative 13, negative 22, and lastly, 
the first term being negative 31. So that's one of the more difficult ones you're going to get to. I find always drawing a picture for these helps. Another tip that I had um, as you're going through these is to write the information that you have kind of over here on the side. That helps quite a bit. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this first video. This is a lot uh, of what the year is going to look like. Um, so this would be all done at home in lieu of your homework. Now what you would do is on the, the next day of class, you'd come in, we'd do some activities with these, maybe some journal writing, some math labs, um, so that you're not doing this type of homework at, or the traditional type of homework at home where you get, you know, stuck in some areas. And uh, now hopefully when you get stuck, it'll be in class, and uh, I'll be able to help, and your colleagues will be able to help. All right, so that is your first lesson.